Hey guys, it's Emma, and today, instead of vlogging, which, I know it's my vlog day, but I'm not really vlogging because it's Friday, I don't have anything to talk about, so I decided I would talk about high school, and it might be a little bit of a rant, mostly because I hate high school, and you're about to find out why. First off, let me just say, if you're going into high school, if you're a newbie, if you're going to be a freshman coming up then let me just tell you, it's not, I don't know, it's different for everyone. It might not be as bad as you think it's going to be. Like, it, I don't know. It's a different experience for everyone, but my experience has been okay, but it's also been high school, and high school is a place full of rude and judgy people where you're supposed to learn things, but your teachers well, some of them anyway, don't even teach you anything. It's full of people who do drugs and alcohol and think it's cool. And yeah, basically that sums it up. So um, I'm going to start telling you things that I like about high school first so that we can warm up to the bad things. Or maybe the bad things will just, you know, completely make all the good things go away. I don't know. But... Some things I like about high school. You meet a lot of people who, if you get close enough, you might stay friends with your entire life, but you'll also meet some bad people. I met my best friend in middle school, but we got even closer these high school years, and she's now my best friend, and we share this account together, so yay. You definitely experience the kind of people that are out in the real world. <laughs> You're not limited to the little elementary kids that have to be nice to you or else they'll like get like silent lunch or something. And there's a lot more freedom in high school. Um, that's pretty much all I can think of right now, but um, yeah. So on to the bad things. <laughs> Maybe this is just a pet peeve of mine, but <laughs> slow walkers in the hallways. <laughs> I don't know about your school, but at my high school, we only have six minutes to get to class, and that's kind of a limited amount of time for me, because when you get stuck behind a slow walker, you're pretty much doomed. So slow walkers in the hallways, how hard is it, just, just tell me, how hard is it to just take a few steps, you know, just a few steps faster, it's not that difficult, okay? Teachers. Not all teachers are good. <laughs> so there are teachers who slack and there are teachers who don't teach you anything and just expect you to go home and do the work yourself. And then you get tested on it and you're just like, um, maybe I didn't learn the right stuff so you fail the test. Yep, that's me. That's me in my history class right now. So there are good teachers and there are bad teachers. It's also, depending on your teacher, you can either have lots of homework or basically no homework at all. I'm more on this end. Sometimes it's not necessarily lots of homework, but it's just time consuming homework that will take you ages to get done. <laughs> like I don't think teachers understand that we have other classes to do. Like we go to school seven or eight hours a day and then we go home and get like seven to eight hours worth of homework. Tell me, in what world does that make sense? <laughs> so last time I checked, I came to school to learn all this stuff, and homework was made so that I could go home and figure out if I understood it. Not to double check if I could like do a million pages of work. And the purpose of homework is not to give us busy work. Um, the other thing is stupid people. Now you all know what I'm talking about. Those people in your class that just interrupt the teacher and ask a stupid question that is completely irrelevant or that's just pff, stupid. There was a girl in my Spanish class who asked if we had 51 states in the United States. And she also thought that Puerto Rico was a state. Puerto Rico is a territory, not a state. <laughs> But so there are stupid people and you're just gonna have to encounter them. You might lose some IQ points, but 
what are you gonna do? The other thing is judgy people. You know who I'm talking about. Those people who make fun of you for what you're wearing or the kind of music that you like or the kind of makeup that you wear or what your personality is like because it's not always what you look like it's sometimes what you act like and I think that's so stupid because you go there and you're you've been growing up your entire life and people have told you to just be yourself when you grow up and now you're starting to grow up and you're trying to figure out who being yourself you're trying to figure out what that means and you're trying to figure out who you are so it's just really hard to do that when people are constantly judging you and telling you what to do and you really need to just find your place in the school and find some friends who will stick with you and defend you and like the same things that you like because that way you can bond even faster and it's just great so do that and don't hang out with those people that judge you because it's not worth it. It is not worth it to be popular. It's just not. So, but high school really is one of the most judgmental places on like the face of the planet. And I just wanted to warn you that <laughs> if you're a freshman and you're going into high school. So the other thing, like I mentioned earlier, is drugs and alcohol. Okay, I just want to clarify something because clearly people don't get it. Drugs are not cute. Being drunk all the time is not cute. Okay? Honeys, okay? Personally, I think drugs are really nasty <laughs> and a huge turnoff. It's just dumb. It's just dumb. And it's especially stupid to think that doing those things will make you cool. Because it doesn't. Okay. Obviously to some people your coolness factor depends on what you dress like and what you act like. Because sometimes the prettiest people and the preppier people and the stupider people are more popular than the smart people and the people that don't dress as nice. And. I just think it's ridiculous that you have to act a certain way and you have to dress a certain way and you have to look a certain way to be popular and you have to have that bad reputation. I just think it's the most... Don't even get me started. If you want that bad reputation, by all means, go ahead. But don't do things like that if you don't want to be judged on them. Like I said, high school is the most judgmental place on the face of the planet. You're gonna get judged for doing drugs and alcohol. And you're gonna get that bad reputation, and I don't know how you're gonna get that back. You're probably not. There you go. Those are some things that really bother me about high school. And, um... Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and... Like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe, especially because that will put a smile on my face like high school cannot do. So, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and bye-bye.